quantum mechanics being the most counterintuitive exposition of the universe shook the very foundations on which western science was built so much so that einstein who was one of the founders of quantum physics could not come to terms with the unbelievable implications of this theory so what does this theory actually say quantum theory says that a physically real world does not exist until there is a conscious observer observing it let that see a bit when you doubt the existence of the entire universe and say that reality is dependent on something immaterial like consciousness a conscious observer we have successfully entered the realm of metaphysics now rewind a bit and recall that the foundational principle of islamic science is tawhid that is there is no reality except divine reality so come to think of it quantum mechanics then wouldn't be considered controversial in the domain of islamic science and the problem of how to reconcile this preposterous theory with relativity wouldn't be a problem these two theories represent two levels of existence relative to the divine reality so the closer one gets to the divine reality the more unreal things get beautifully summed up in a verse from the quran that says huwa al awwal wa al akhir wa al zahir wa al batin wa huwa bi kulli shay'in alim he is the first and the last and the apparent and the hidden and it is he who observes and knows all things so there you go you have your quantum mechanical observer who observes and knows everything and his observation is what creates reality then you have uh, al awwal wal akhir uh, that is being the first and the last so the time dimension then al zahir wal batin uh, that being the apparent and the hidden that means the space dimension so space time and matter all are unreal and only find their reality completely contingent on divine reality